What's up, sweaties? I'm here with Frosty. We got the inside intel on Deadpool 2 screenings. Check it out. What's up, sweaties? Sitting here with Frosty talking about these Deadpool 2 screenings. We're going to figure it out, find out what's going on by getting the inside word from the man who's heard about it. Frosty, what's up? Tell us about these Deadpool 2 screenings. What's really funny about all this is I wasn't even going to talk about any of this uh, on the air. And then, the, you know, this crazy rumor hit that Deadpool 2 test screened poorly. Right. And then that started getting picked up. And I'm like, that's just not true. And so I, we were talking about it yesterday. I tweeted about it yesterday. Right. And now, since I'm in the office today, we just decided to actually talk about it and be specific. Yeah. Uh, and just, you know, break it down so fans don't have to really be nervous. So break it down for me. We literally were just talking about this five minutes ago, and now it's become a video that you're watching. So that's the magic of the internet. Check it out. So all I heard and, 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 and read on the internet that was like they had a couple of different Deadpool screenings. Uh, some people said it was p uh, horrible and that they're like p tested, you know, really badly and they had to do massive reshoots. While other people said it got good numbers and the reshoots are incidental and, and just to help the story. Tell us what's up. Okay, so uh, just to be clear, I know some people that went to some of these test screenings uh, and I've spoken to people in the know, and this is not based on some, you know, one source. This is based on multiple sources. Okay. <clears throat> so in January, they did the first test screening where it scored, I heard like a 90, 91. And then they did another screening based on like editing the movie after getting notes back. You know, the, the crowd sees it, right. the studio looks at it, they make changes. So then the second screening happened and I scored it close. I heard it scored much higher, you know, a high 90. Uh, and then what happened was both crowds at these screenings said they love Josh Brolin as Cable. Uh, they love Domino but that they would like to see more of both characters in the movie. Okay. Uh, this is obviously not talking about other things that I was about to talk about. Right. But, but we won't mention the movie. That's a big spoiler. Those are the things like if you read some stuff. And don't, you, don't even tell them to do no, that. Yeah, like you you want to avoid all that stuff. Yeah, I was going to say that like there's, um, I heard some very good cameos and, you know, anyway, but the two main things were uh, Cable, Domino. Everyone loved both characters. They wanted to see more. So when everyone in an audience gives notes and says, we want more Domino, right. we want more Cable, the smart play for the studio, especially in the competitive summer is, okay, well, how can we do that? Right. How can we add these characters? So what happened was in February or whenever it was, they did additional photography where, guess what? They added Cable or more Cable and they added more Domino. Right. And so that's the main thing about the additional photography. There was no train wreck. There was no you know, fans hate this movie. It right. was, how can we make a really good movie even better? And ultimately that's what the photography was. And I think they did another test screening last week and uh, that also scored over a 90. So there's been a number of test screenings uh, and from what I'm hearing, none of them scored under a 90. So they're just plussing the movie is what they're doing. They're like, look, we love Domino, we love Cable. Those are the notes from two separate screenings. Well, how do we fix that? How do we add that in the simplest and funniest way possible? Makes sense to me. By the way, that's exactly what Marvel does with Feige and all, all the time. their movies. Yeah. If you look up the term plussing with Feige, they always go in the edit. They always figure out what can they do to make the movie even yep. better. And here's the thing that it's so frustrating. No movie is done until they release it in theaters. There have been so many movies that have done dramatic reshoots, yep. Rogue One, um, World War Z, you know, the list of movies that have done significant reshoots, yeah. and this isn't even reshoots, this is just additional photography. Right. You shouldn't judge a film in post-production. You judge a film when you see it opening day and whether or not you liked it. Right, once the picture is locked and released and you're in the theater is when you judge it. Everything else is a work in progress. Totally. And the, the term plussing has been used in animation, when you're plussing a background, when you're plussing a scene. That's when, we, if you ever hear it, that's exactly what it is. You're just trying to add layers of plus and not minus. So that's the whole goal. Frosty, thanks for breaking it down for us. Later. <laughs>